Buy three things this week. Top three Christmas specials. Number three, Die Hard. Bruce Willis saves the world during the holiday season. Is there a better Christmas message? Number two, Home Alone. Macaulay Culkin. He's getting it done during the holiday season. Getting around Joe Pesci, really doing a nice job. The number, I'm just kidding. Number three, Frosty the Snowman. Is there a better Christmas message than Frosty? I mean, it's just outstanding. It sticks with you for the rest of your life. And you got the corn cob pipe, you got the button nose, the eyes made out of coal. You give him a hat, he comes to life. You got the magician, classic story of good and evil. Number two, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, a story of outcast. You have Charlie in the box, you got the elf who wants to be a dentist, and Rudolph, he symbolizes the whole thing. A guy who's been pushed away, not involved in the reindeer games, until that one foggy Christmas Eve when Santa calls upon him and he gets it done. The number one Christmas special of all time, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. A classic story of transformation. The Who's in Whoville, led by Cindy Lou Who, just getting it done, changing the heart, the mindset, the spirit of the Grinch. Great images, the Rose Beast, the Who Hash, the heart pounding at the end, the dogs up and down under the Christmas tree. It's a wonderful story. It's a story for everyone. It's the true Christmas story. A postscript, the 1934 version of A Christmas Carol, starring Alistair Sim, certainly is a classic. But does anybody play Ebenezer Scrooge quite like Thurston Howell III does in Mr. Magoo? It's really a classic. Merry Christmas to everybody.